Okay, folks, I just thought I'd make a little video here because I was not finding any videos on the internet. This is my uh, 2004 Discovery 2, my baby. And as commonly happens, the rear door actuator stopped working and it's finally time to fix it so I don't have to go inside to open the door anymore. Uh, the thing is, I was looking at the manual, I have the manual. And they want you to take out the whole door frame. I even have my Land Rover hat on. <laughs> they want you to take out the whole door frame, this whole thing, to replace uh, this door actuator. And this right here is Victory. So I'll show you kind of how I did it. Basically, uh, these bolts right here, these Torx screws had to come out. So those come out. And then you can reach inside and pop off this little bit uh, right here. This little lever right here. You can pop that out, reach inside, and then that allows you to pull out the door handle. And this door handle, this part right here, you basically slide it this way and then it pops out. And I just have it hanging here. So this is released from the latch. The thing was, the manual was saying you had to remove this whole thing here and all this surgery inside with no work. I mean, no ability to like get in there. Big pain in the butt. So I removed the bolts. There's a bolt underneath here, right here, that holds this part of the frame here. There's two of them right here, these torques. Then this frame is loose. There's two more inside, right down over in here, here, and here. So these were all easy to get to. They are just these bolts right here. These short ones go on the outside frame of the door. These go on the inside frame of the door by the hinges. And the trick I just discovered was this thing was in there like this, and it doesn't fit out of this hole because this is in the way. This is what the manual wants you to remove. So it's loose, and what I found is if it's loose, you can push it back a little bit, and then this lip right here, I just took some pliers. It's not too pretty, but I bent it out. So I just bent this out a little bit, and I'll be able to bend it back in. And that is it. That little bit of a, a mod right here allowed me to turn this and slip it out. So... That's it. Basically gonna take off this cable and that's the last bit holding. And then I just have to do a little surgery to hook up the latches and stuff to get it back in. But um, that's basically it. There's plenty of videos about the door panel removal and the speaker and stuff. That's a piece of cake. But this was a huge time saver. Bending this out and the ability to get this out of this hole was a huge thing. So I just thought I'd pass that on. Hopefully this starts showing up in searches because <laughs> It was going to be quite the project, so this was a big save, and I thought I'd pass it on. So there you go, folks.